Wife has a meltdown after getting caught cheating. Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we're taking a look at wives having meltdowns after getting caught cheating, number six. Okay. This is gonna be actually good. These videos always fucking slap. This shit is fire. Let's lock this shit in. Let's jump right in. Right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Like, what would y'all do if you, like, got caught in this situation? Like, if you were the dude, like, she's cheating on her man, and then he pull up on you. Are you just going to leave? I think what, leaving is probably just the smartest, in my opinion. Just leave and get up out of there. She wasn't your girl anyway. Easy. Because I've seen some of these dudes try to crash out over a girl that's not, not theirs. And that would be insane. Like, crashing out over a girl who's cheating on her man who will probably also cheat on you. Yeah, disappear. Only option. She's not even that hot. My boy said she's not even that hot. That's insane, but you know, when people be angry, they get to yapping. Oh, okay. When she gets caught, she starts crying. I'll be friend for real. Oh, shit. All right, let me get ready. This was going to be intense, boys. Let me get ready. Let me get ready. Y'all ready? If y'all ready, slap some emos in this chat. Let's just get to this shit. L crying, bro. Come on. You know. You know how this shit goes. When people get caught and they don't want to take a, what's it called? A accountability? They, they get to resort into every emotional method possible, bro. But I think this one's going to be juicy. Just let's see. I know you'll call the police. That's I know you call the police. What you want me to do. No, that's what you're that's what you always wanted to do. That's, that's why I don't need to be with you. That's what you want me to do. Okay. No, you I don't want to do that. You told me to call my dad. No, you call told your me dad. to call all these people. Go ahead. I said go ahead and get your money no, so I can go. That's what you told me to do. I said all you gotta so do is get your money so I can go. You told me to do. Okay, whatever. You want me to do what you told me to do? Alright, whatever. A few moments huh? later. All I'm trying to do is go out the door. <laughs> Y'all see this on camera. I'm trying to leave out the door. Get away from the situation and make things better for me, but um, I can't seem to uh, go. So when the police get here, you will see, because I'm gonna have to remove her from me physically. I'm trying to be polite and just walk out and, and and have a great day, but um, she won't get off me. Can you please get off me? I'm okay. asking her twice. I'm asking you to Can sit you down. please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please get off Gary, of me? Gary, please don't put your hands. I'm I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please, please. please you see this, right? Gary, Gary, you see this? Please, I'm trying to go. Please. I'm trying I'm to go. Look at me. Look at me. She just wouldn't let go. Bro, like, honestly, it just makes more sense in these situations. Let the upset party leave. Even if you want to try to talk and justify, just let them leave. You never know. You may still get an opportunity to talk to them later. Just trying to force a conversation and get physical while people are angry is fucking dumb, bro. I'm not going to lie, food. You'll be surprised the amount of times people get cheated on and then get back together with that same person. You'll actually be surprised. Oh, of him. If she was truly <laughs> sorry, she wouldn't have been no. in the first place. No. Damn, my arm about long as hell. No. Another guy sleeping in my girlfriend's bed. Bro, did he just say another guy sleeping in my girlfriend's bed? He caught his girlfriend cheating for the third 
time. For the third time? Come on now. Three times? You gave her three chances. Brother, quit while you're ahead. Three chances, too many. Three chances, too many. One chance, you're out of here. You're gone, bro. You're gone. Like, no fucking way. Part one is crazy, yeah. I feel very good about it. I work my off day in and day out. Bro. A hundred plus hours a week. Bro. <laughs> and I do nothing but be faithful to you. There was plenty of opportunities I could have had, but I said no, and I didn't do it. You're a I hope you know that. I loved you, Lydia. I did. I go to hell. <laughs> Go to hell, bro. Let's just let's just take a moment and think about this. The third time, part one. Third time, part one. There's no way there's more parts to this. And I pray to God, the guy who put this complicated put this video together. English is hard. Actually, shows us the other parts because I need the full story. I'm actually I'm invested at this point. That man really playing possum. He bro, I don't think he's sleep. I think he fake sleeping. He just don't want to like say nothing. So he's just laying there like. Cause I mean, what else do you do in that situation? Buddy got a camera on you. Like what else do you do in that situation? Like this shit is insane. Cheating is insane. Those chances. Cheating should never be forgiven. Oh, can you let me talk? Are please, you done? Tell me something. Please enlighten me. Okay, give me a second. I will enlighten you. If you're are please, you done? Tell me finished? something. Please enlighten me. Okay, give me a second. I will enlighten you. If you're talking about what I think you're talking about, this will clear it up. Sophia, you're drinking with another man in my house when I'm gone. I'm drinking. What are you talking about? I was trying to I have all the footage, bro. I already showed him everything. I was coughing. So give me a second. This will clear everything up. What are you talking it about? It was a joke. It was a prank. You're just like so heated right now. Now I have to call him and like. Says he cheated and called it a prank. Cheating and calling it a prank might be a top tier strat. That's a top tier. It was a prank. I was just trying to prank you. What the fuck? Days after the wedding is wrong. Yeah, like I'm gonna be real. If you know you want to like just uh fuck everybody or different people don't even get into a relationship bro like just don't and just be honest i'm interested in you know still messing around with other people so that's what i'm gonna do if you don't like that i understand it's fairly simple to say it and like to be honest a lot of dudes will probably be like oh well if they're trying to marry you they're gonna say no but i feel like a lot of dudes would just be like okay that means that she can't be like very important in my life because this is just gonna be what it is but but after the wedding, yeah, bro. After the wedding is insane. Days after the wedding. This is gonna explain it to you. It was a joke. It Sophia, was a prank. I knew let me see the outfit you're wearing. Hey, Mike, can you? Why are you tripping right now? I'm wearing a skirt and a shirt. Who cares? It was a prank. It was a what? I'm getting pulled over. I gotta go. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm getting pulled over. I gotta go. Did you see the fit too? She had the red skirt, red crop top on. She was really ready to get active. She was really ready to get active. Like, I feel bad for, for gang, bro. And then the dude said, I'm getting pulled over. I gotta go. He not about to say it's a prank. He not about to say nothing. I'm gone. I'm gone. All right, Mike. Sorry to bother you. It was a prank. Exactly. Oh, okay. So you knew I had a ring doorbell. Yeah, and I knew you had a ring doorbell. Of course I do. You know how stupid you sound right now? No, I don't sound I'm just trying to not even a week is insane. You're hanging out with one of my friends. This obviously did not go as You're hanging out with one of my friends in the house, drinking, He's shooting friend. pool, He's looking friend. through a telescope, and you told me you were going with your girls tonight. Our Sophia, friend. what's that mean? You drinking and not... It's even worse because he said you're hanging out with my friend. Gang, that is not your friend. That is not your friend, bro. He was waiting for the opportunity to touch that girl that is not your friend bro he was waiting for the time he could have a long time with her please do not call him a friend be better with the people you choose to make friends with like 
you can't trust everybody because a lot of people, they just not true. And you know what? This is the perfect time to plug it because, you know, I got a clothing line called They're Not Real Friends. And that should just really be the truth. Not answer my phone calls and hanging out with him. Okay. If you think I'm stupid, you're done, bro. It's a prank. You're done. We're done. We're, it's everything. What do you mean it's a prank? so heated over a joke let me ask you a question what if i didn't come home and i didn't look at the ring doorbell would it still be a prank no because you wouldn't have seen it Duh. so you're just hanging out with a guy so it wasn't a prank she just pretty much said it wasn't a prank it's only a prank because you saw it she's trying to gaslight my boy no because then i would have told you wait hey. let me see what you're wearing let me see uh, yeah it's part of the prank like this you know, outfit's like, a part of the prank yes you sound stupid so do you. All right, well, let me let me tell you something right now. I'm going to go out, and I'm going to go prank you. Oh, okay. If okay. I come home with another girl and she's pregnant. Not only did she cheat, but right after they got married, end with a stupid excuse. So brutal. Okay. Nina, what's going on here? Yeah, you know exactly what I'm saying. Tell me what's going on. You know exactly Who's this guy? That's not your husband, right? No. Yeah. I'm James. I'm the, I was the best man. This... Is Nina. This is my best friend's wife. That's excellent. Props to the best man for figuring this one out. Bro, she's fried. She looks like she's not even sober. She doesn't care one bit. That's like, bro, like people are getting married and then getting cheated on like this. Like, why are y'all getting married? Why get married to go through something like this? It, it clearly is just not worth what you're doing. Like, Putting yourself through all this trauma for a marriage, bro. It's like it's actually insane. Hope her husband drops her for good. Joey will do something to you on a Monday and on a W Tuesday, friend for real. You know me. We've been through thick and thin. I don't care no, if you we were having not. a house you party. Left at thick. No, we no, I didn't leave get, at no, thick. No, no, no. Left no at I thick. did not leave at you thick. thick. You know don't I did not leave at thick. Do you know I didn't don't don't do that. Don't do that before sitting your mama on his couch. Don't you dare. Don't you dare right now. Don't you don't you dare. Don't you not dare tell me that I left that thick. You did. You're running. No, I'm not a you runner. Ran. No, I have to do and it so you can think I got better. No, I'm well, not running. You. Don't I'm you dare. Now. I appreciate Don't it. you dare. Yeah, you. that's why you're doing well. Because I have to do what I have to do, whether it hurt me or not, for you to be fine thank and you. be sitting on this couch alive. Y'all don't even want to thank you from you. Dang. So this was his ex who did him dirty, so he got her right back on live. If you I don't even want to be there I, with yo, me you three, at my yo, worst, I don't want you at my mother. Yes, my. I sit your mom here, and she knows that I was there, and she knows that I had to get up and go just so and you, you could be cry. who you are right I don't now. Go on guilt You're just a bro, but that's the thing, right? She's getting extremely upset. Yeah, she's big yapping. She, you left him, and if he feels like if he felt felt feels felt bomb, whatever. Felt like you left him when he needed you most. That's just how he feels. So y'all can have whatever different perspectives you want, but you can't force your perspective on someone else and try to change it. And getting like that emotional or like over talking and all that stuff is not gonna make it any different for real. Oh, I, I cannot believe you. I know. This is such a tough relationship to take sides on, but Joe seems to take the win. Tell them what you told me so we everybody know what's going on. Tell them what With this cousin? <laughs> Tell them what you told me. I slept with your cousin. Then I'll speak up so I can hear you. I slept with your cousin. That's it. How long y'all been sleeping together, though? For a year. For a year? Okay. And how long, how long have we been together? For eight years. Eight years, okay? And she sleep and go creep on me with my cousin behind my back. You're not, okay. Like, my oh thing my. is, it's not just my fault. You're making it seem like you do your job. You're not even doing your job as a boyfriend. You don't even treat me right. They've been together eight years. He cheats with his cousin and then says he's not a good boyfriend. Royce, this is actually brutal. This is actually brutal. Like, this is like hurting me watching this. People really be going through it, bro. And, and get cheated on. You don't. I don't. You do that you I take her on on dates. We go do stuff. All, the, all that. Good. We do all of that. And the audacity to go behind my back and what? sleep. On social media for what? And sleep with my cousin. That ain't nobody's business. But I told you that. And I owned up to you and told you that, though. I told you. I didn't lie to you. 
I think we're gonna watch one more from this video, then I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then we're gonna switch to another video. I got something more entertaining. Actually, I'm gonna just go to the bathroom now. We're gonna end this video here, and then we're gonna watch something more entertaining. Trust, I got something really good lined up for y'all, boy.